Hello everyone, you're welcome. This is Kingsley from Kingsbird Designs. If you're just joining me for the first time, please ensure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new video. In today's tutorial, we are not going to really be dealing on any design right now. So what I actually want to show you is actually something I feel I feel is going to be very helpful for every one of us. So now let's go straight to what I want to show you now. For example, I have this particular work. I think I have this work here and I also have several pages with different work here also. So now what I'm going to do now is to want to show you, let's say for adventure needed to export this particular things. I you know one thing in Corridor, Corridor allows us to actually export only one file at a time one page at a time so i can export this and when i'm done with the export of this side i'll come back to this side and export this one and also this the same the, that's how corridor was actually built to work on so now there's actually a trick a method you can use to actually let me say for example i want to export all of them at the same time without exporting them one after the other. I want to show you how to, you can be able to export all your works at the same time. So now let's go straight to what we are going to be doing today. First of all, I'm going to go down to where I want to save all those image. So I'm going to create a folder where I'm going to save the picture and the exported picture. So let me just name it as exported. Let me just name it as exported. So this is where I'm going to, you can see on the folder is actually empty, there's nothing in it. So I'm going to now go and ensure I export this particular work. Now let's do it now. I'm going to, once I'm here now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to where I have my tools. I'm actually using CorelDRAW 2020. So you just locate where you have your tools, then locate where you have your scripts. Under the script, you are going to see run script so i'm going to click on run script so when i click on it it's going to open this macro run macro for me in case you are not seeing run script you, can, you will see something like run macro just click on that then you are going to come to this place where we have these macros in so we are going to select this one that has file converter we are going to select the file converter so once you click select the click on the file converter and then click on run so it's going to open this particular site for us. So now what we are going to be doing now is to come to where you have this source. You are going to see source on the source. Just come to where you have here. Just click on it. So now once you click on it, it's going to open up this way. So now the next thing we are going to do or you are going to see another source again. Here was source selection on the source. Now I'm going to select where it's going to be. Just click my source. Now, what the source actually means is for me to actually select the particular work I want to export. So you can see, I don't know if you can actually see this very well. You can see this is what I used to save the particular work. And I'm going to locate the folder right now. I save it into here in all important. Then under Fiverr, this is where the work is. You can see under Fiverr. So now I'm going to now open it up. You can see it's showing five search completed so now i can now begin either select each the work from here directly but since i already know this is going is actually a correct draw file so i'm going to just select correct draw so it, you can see it actually narrowed all the distance to only correct draw so now i'm going to now select the particular one i want for that particular design i this was the one i used this is the one I use for the design. You can actually see this is the actually actual raw file I use. Then I'm going to click on add. Once I click on add, you can see it added it to this particular side. So now my I'm now going to click on where I have okay. Once I double click on it, it comes here. I selected it, I selected file. This is where it the click on it is going to come over to this place. Then click on this. So now my file has been selected already. So now convert to what kind of format do I want to convert it to? 
convert to is it an Adobe Illustrator file or what? So I'm going to actually go down and select this. I'm going to convert it to JPEG image. I want to convert it from that current draw file to JPEG image. Then save each pages as a separate file. I'm going to do that. Click on this. Then you can convert all the whole text to curve. Yes. Then after that you can ignore each everything the way it is like this now i'm going to now let me leave the everything the way it's going to look like like this just leave everything the way it is now so now i'm going to now click on convert once you click on the convert you can see okay you can see it's actually telling me invalid source destination i actually left this place so that you see the way this error is going to throw in case you didn't do select your destination where the file is going to go into it's going to actually going to throw this error for you so now what you're going to do when you select your file source always ensure you select the destination where you want it to be saved into so now you are going to come to where you have your destination and see destination here so you are going to click on my destination it's going to now open up for me where do i want to save that images to the one I wanted to convert. So remember I created a folder on the desktop which is exported. So I'm going to select the exported and click on OK. As by this time as at now is going to actually open. Then I done with all my settings click. Then click on convert. You can see file conversion has completed. If you're still watching this video and you have not yet considered subscribing to my channel, please hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new videos. So now let's go and see if our work is actually exported. So what I'm going to now, let's just go down to my desktop. So once you go to the desktop now, you can see when you open the exported, you can see I have my five files here. Here are the five files it actually exported. So you can see it actually, this actually saved me the stress of exporting them one after the other. You can see with this little trick, I've been able to export all the whole five files straight from my core draw without any much waste of time. You can see, and it gave me actually a good listen. So I believe this is where I'm. I'm going to stop in this particular tutorial. If you have any question or you have any difficulty anywhere or any video idea you want me to create for you, you can actually leave in the comment box below. I'll try my best to see how to answer. Until next time, bye for now.